Hello everyone, welcome to Gus 2 Wheeling out here in Leesburg, Virginia. Going through this neighborhood. Uh, last Memorial Day I uh, did Rolling Thunder. Uh, I'll post a link to that video below. That was pretty good, a lot of turnout and stuff, but I thought this year. Got something real close to where I live uh, here in Leesburg. Uh, it's a park. It's uh, Balls Bluff Battlefield. Uh, the Battle of Balls Bluff uh, was one of the earliest uh, battles of the Civil War. Uh, here in Leesburg, we've got a lot of Civil War history. Yeah, here we are. Oh, that ground's soft. <laughs> wow. Hiking trails here. But yeah, they, they do tours here and stuff and uh, tell you about the, uh, the battle here. I've uh, got a map here because they've got like trails and stuff. So yeah, October 21st, 1861 was uh, the Battle of Balls Bluff. Uh, God, a lot of nice stuff here to read. And the aftermath. Divided America. Early events of the American Civil War. Cool. Let's go uh, take a look. The Battle of Balls Bluff. On the night of October 20th, 1861, a small federal scouting party crossed the Potomac River from Maryland to determine whether recent troop movements indicated a Confederate withdrawal from Leesburg. Advancing inland from Balls Bluff, the Federals moved past this point, crested a low ridge near Jackson House, and saw the dim moonlight which appeared to be a Confederate camp. Upon learning of this, the Federal Commander, Brigadier General Charles P. Stone, saw a target of opportunity and quickly organized a raiding party. All right. Cool. Yeah, they have uh, plenty of hiking trails here. Uh, and they're marked. Real nice shade in here. Tall trees. There's a sign again for the Burt Trail. Intermediate loop. Nice bench to take a break while you're hiking. Ah, this is nice. This monument is de dedicated to the brave men of the 8th Virginia Volunteer Infantry Regiment. Cool. 
the South Confederate leaders at Ball's Bluff. Battle of Ball's Bluff, October 21st, 1861. Number of soldiers, 1,720 Union, 1,709 Confederate. How many were killed, wounded, and captured? The North Union leaders at Ball's Bluff. Laws Bluff National Cemetery. This way to the Potomac River. Okay. Can't get a good view of the Potomac River. Got leaves in the way now. <laughs> but yeah, this is Ball's Bluff Overlook. So we're like right about a, somewhere in here in this general area. Potomac River is down there. Uh, I see the brown water because we've had a lot of rain. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see through the trees right there. If that helps. <laughs> but yeah, and on the other side there is Maryland. And that's what uh, the Potomac River separates Virginia and Maryland. Cool. It's pretty nice here with all the hiking trails and stuff. Walk along and a lot of things to read and uh, read and see. It's pretty nice. Union artillery, mountain howitzer during battle. So I think that's the name of the cannon. If you know, leave a comment down below. Outs or trails, so maybe this is what kind of cannon this is. I'm not too sure. Yeah. 
nice park here like I said with the trails and uh, uh, different things to read and see and stuff I hope you all enjoyed the video uh, I hope you all have a uh, good Memorial Day uh, click like on the video post any comments down below and we'll catch you on the next video bye now